couple things. I really, um, when you look at the game overall, I'm, I'm, I'm just really proud of our effort. Minus, I think maybe some free throws. I really felt that we controlled the things we could control today in a really good environment, a great game, I thought, uh, against a really good opponent. You know, I thought we hustled, we battled, we scrapped, we dove, we made plays. We, um, you know, I'm just I'm really proud of our guys in that regard. Came up short, um, built a little bit of a theme. You know, I think it's our fifth by three or less. So we've had a lot of those this year. I mean, our we're not very far from having a almost a reverse record, but once again, it is it is a horrible saying in athletics, but it is what it is, and that's that's where we're at. Um, feel bad for Mike; he didn't get to play very much today. Uh, CJ missed about half of the first half, you know, getting stitched up, and he came back in and battled. So I'm really proud of those two guys and what they've done for us. I know it's their last game. I told them we need three more out of them, uh, all on the road. But it's their last one here at home. I'm, I'm disappointed for them that didn't come out on the right side of the ledger. But uh, proud of a lot of things that we did today. Well, I have great memories here, and just from our standpoint, to be able to play in a bigger arena, uh, and if you look administratively for our department, uh, I think it's huge to be able to sell tickets, how the concessions work, how you know our game day setup will be, which will be much more like going from here to the arena on campus next year as opposed from SAP to here. So it was, it's been a great buffer in that regard. But I've had, I've had really good games here. I don't know what our record is here. I think it's pretty good. I know I've dropped some this year. but. Um, you know, I think slowly we've built a home court advantage. Slowly our students have, have they start coming out more in droves. Uh, we had a good crowd today, and I think that'll do nothing but build going into uh, next year on campus. The best thing about those two guys, they're not giving in anytime soon. You know, we know we have three left. We know it doesn't start for a week. Uh, and, we'll, and then we'll be on the road for a week, by the way. We'll be on the road for seven days to finish it out. So it'll, um, it, it'll be long, but uh, our guys will handle it the way they've always handled it, you know, professional. Uh, they're going to prep the right way. We're going to we're going to do everything exactly the same we've always done, and and those guys will lead us through. So uh, I feel bad for those guys because we've come up short so many times this year, um, where it could have one or two things could have spun the other direction. Um, some things we can't control. Uh, some things were a little self-inflicted. So uh, that's where we're at. But uh, I'm looking forward to taking this team on the road because I think. You know, even with Marcus and you know some other injuries that we have and have had or whatnot, I I think we're playing as good as we played right now. You know, we got beat 16 down there. You know, gave up 102 um, offensively. We played well down there, but didn't do very well defensively today. I really thought that we fought. You know, gave up you know 42 percent for the game. I thought you know, and and with that we give up you know 18 points off of turnovers, but 13 of those are in the first half. You know, I told our guys, I said you've given them six possessions at the rim off of turnovers, and if you just allow us to guard half of those. I said, even if it's 50%, I go, that, that's going to be six or seven less points depending on the three-point player, the three that they hit in transition. So, you know, um, but that's where it's at. Instead of being down three and a half, we might be up two, three, four. So, but we weren't. And, uh, but that got cleaned up a little bit in the second half. Then they got us down to the post a little bit. Of course, without Mike, they have some size on us down there. And uh, they posted up a couple of our guards and made, made a couple of good plays. I, I thought we got out in transition enough, you know, to win the game. And I also felt that we executed well enough in the half court to win the game. I felt... Uh, you know, Amagano uh, obviously was a, was a big thing, even though I ha only had eight in the second half, you know, being at 20 at the half. And uh, I just felt that, you know, I mean, he's a good player. He can draw contact and he can get to the line, and, and he did that today. This, uh, probably the most memorable thing I probably had was uh, last year when we won the first round of the CIT. That was just a big moment just for the UNO you know, basketball history, just to, to make the postseason tournament and then have the first game here and to win that, that's, that's important. And, uh, Tonight was a great night for me too, just for senior night. And I, I just look back on that and just, and just think about the great memories I had here and just and I love it here. And I, if I could do it again I would. Just, I mean my time's come up, but I mean, it's been a pleasure playing with these guys and the past guys I've been playing with, but I mean, it's just it's just hard to lose this game. But I mean we got a couple more left and just leave it on the floor then. When we beat North Dakota that was that was huge for our program just because, you know, People look at us as a smaller D1 in Nebraska, and we are, but we're making the huge jump because of stuff like last year. Um, like tonight, the crowd was crazy, so that's stuff we like to see, and it's great for the program. Uh, yeah, it kind of was, just with the fouls calls, because we're more up and down team, so when we get fouled, it stops the game. I mean, but we'd have to fight through, and just to get stops, and we tried to get that early, and it was kind of hard, and Obi had a, a great game. He got to the foul line 19 times, so I mean, he did what we had to do for his team, and uh, we tried to do the same. I mean, we put up a great effort tonight, but it just came out short. Put up a good fight, and I, I'm not mad at the guys at all for what we did tonight. 
because they left on the floor. If we didn't, then yeah, we would have a different thing to say about that. But everybody left on the floor tonight for, for me and Mike. And it did, it did what we had to do to try to get the game, but this came up short. It means everything. Uh, I've always never cared about the final, uh, the final whatever score. I just, it's all about process. If you play hard every game, then you live with the results. So tonight, in the whole season, this has kind of been like our season. We played so hard and then, you know, whistles, whatever, stuff that you can't control takes it away. And I thought our guys play their butts off. So I appreciate that. I like these guys. So uh, I just feel like uh, we made a big jump this year with the fans, even though we're not playing good. But I think that, uh, that'll carry over to uh, to next year. You know, we got we got a couple big wins here. So I guess they'll, they'll, I guess they'll carry over to next year.